Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another flip through, and this time it will be the Fin de Sickle Kipper fortune telling deck. So, a little bit about this, and I did actually look through it, read it, I felt the cards, looked at them. So, in my quest for gilded things, um, that's how I found the Gilded Reverie, and also I had seen this and and I wanted, actually wanted silver because silver is my, my favorite. I prefer it to gold. And I'm surprised that I didn't get this any sooner. <laughs> but um, also, um, I had seen it, you know, in, in, here and there, and most recently with Queen Sugar. So you guys go check out her channel. She has a great, she is an amazing reader. She is very intuitive, and she really knows how to speak from the DM point of view. And so, um, so very much like the Lenormand, the Lenormand is a, a type of divination cardomancy, which comes from regular playing cards, which all car all of this does. The tarot also is sort of an expanded version of playing cards. And Lenormand is also kind of a different version and style of, of playing cards. But... The Lenormand shows you what playing cards are associated with each card. I like the Gilded Reverie Lenormand because Ciro Marchetti is just an amazing artist and he was commissioned to do this Fin de Sickle Kipper fortune telling. And so the, the Kipper deck is um, a German style of divination and um, he was saying that the original artwork is was a little bit more like Bavarian style, and he decided to to use more Victorian images, and he thought that the Victorian time would be able to tell his story better, you know, his um, vision better. And so I think, you know, he uses Victorian a little bit in and, and the Gilded Reverie. Also, he has an amazing tarot deck out, too, a couple of them. Um, one's a little bit larger than next edition that I might get to, but it's like right now I need to hold off on the tarot a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to do a flip through for you. And um, this is great for asking, you know, who my twin flame is or who my next person I'm going to marry because it's a lot of people. And that's what I was looking for. And I, was, I just don't know why I didn't get this any sooner. So let's have a look. So it also comes in this great flip box. I just, this is an extremely easy box, like a little magnet. Here's the back. And here's a little, I guess I can read this little quickie story. So in the fin de sickle, which means um, year's end, end of the year, or um, end of the century, turn of the century, it could be, is situated in Victorian England. Um, Marchetti created this contemporary heir to the Kipper tradition, which makes me really curious what the original looks like, so I want to look at that. He was talking about a lot of um, wallpaper in the original. Um, so it's about human experiences and society, and it really tells like a, a, a human story, just a regular story. So I think this can be very good in divination. And it's got this beautiful silver gilded edge. It's like, yes. Ah. All right. And let's look through the book a little bit. So um, it, it has a very long story in the beginning. And I read most of it last night before I went to bed about, you know, him being commissioned to do this. And first not wanting to and then deciding that he would and um, talking about you know the cards and how you use them very similarly to the Lenormand like group together and so on so then we go into the explanation of each card <clears throat> And then uh, some spreads. Very simple. I mean, the spreads are pretty cool too. 
didn't read this though, as a bonus feature. So there's an interactive bonus feature. Oh, okay, cool. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the cards. It's um, 30, did you say 33 card deck? Let's see. <laughs> 39. So you might recognize some of these with out there, some people's readings. But we have the main mail. And this can really be helpful too. Like, I get so many questions about who should I choose? And then I get a lot of questions about, you know, I don't know, in, in directions, choices, that kind of things. And who's who and what, <clears throat> you know, like the querent is you, the one watching this, but you could be male, female, and you could have prefer different sex types. So this might help a little bit cut down in the curiosity of all that. <clears throat> so we have the main female. Marriage. And just similar to... Um, Doreen's marriage card, it looks just like a very practical marriage, and you don't see it as just passion, or, you know, but, you know, marriage is marriage. Courtship looks a little bit more romantic. <laughs> the mature man, I like that mature man, he's cute. I already separated these cards, but they're still a little bit sticky. That's the mature woman. It's nice. <clears throat> That's how my hair would look if I didn't color it. <laughs> the message. So we have the letter and the lettermint. False person. And and the drawings of the people to me are. Let's see if I can get this so it's not a glare, so you can. I like the drawing of the people, you know, to me that's important, I don't know, I just, I like real, realism, that's my favorite type of artwork, so, <clears throat> change, journey, I've actually been somewhere that looks a lot like that, <laughs> sudden wealth, so when I talk about winning the lottery and stuff, you know, that could pop up, sticky cards, privileged lady, Wealthy man. Message of concern. See, different than just a letter. So that's good too. This gets a little bit more detail. Lovers. Thoughts. <laughs> Who's he thinking about? He's thinking about you. Gift. Child. So suppose if those two were together, you know, you could be, your gift could be having a child. <laughs> coffin. He said in the original, the coffin was the only one that made it, you know, image that he could really understand and read. So, so I guess it was, it was kind of confusing. Now it makes me really want to get an original deck to see what it looked like. And isn't that a cute little Victorian house? Mm hmm. So cute. I like Victorian houses. Family room. Reminds me of that table card. The table. Official person. So somebody like with authority. Courthouse. It's good. Thief. High honor. Great fortune. Unexpected income. Expectation. It's kind of a lot like the three of wands, two of wands. 
imprisonment. Nobody would want to get this card, but it, it could be a metaphorical imprisonment too. Adjudication. I like very simple, easy to read words. Bad health. Despair. It's going to be okay. Concern. This could be definitely like reaction of family members. Occupation. Pathway. This one is very appealing to me. I just like the way that looks and feels. Distant horizons. It's probably because I have Jupiter in the 12th house. <laughs> This is my Jupiter in the 12th house. It's like, ah, let's go exploring. There's poverty. It's so cute. So Charles Dickens. Toil and labor. And community. And there you go. That's the kipper. So I might get other kippers. And we'll see, you know, to compare. But I'll definitely be using this. And there's an upcoming reading that I'll definitely be using this. You know, if you want to get more specific about the who. Who are you going to date? Who are you going to... Who is your twin flame? Who is your soulmate? This will help with the who. <laughs> and I get that question a lot. And um, so if you guys are wanting to hang out with me, I will probably be live again tonight. 7 p.m. And don't forget, I still have a few more um, days for this contest. But this is June of 2019. So if you're watching this at any other time, the contest is over. All right, you guys. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.